Hi and welcome back to All Course. In this video, we'll see how to create passes with Vector. In fact, each figure created in Vector is a pass. The rectangle, a round and rectangle, a circle, or an ellipse, they're all passes. And they can be edited as such. We'll see how it works a bit later. And there are also two tools dedicated exclusively to, to drawing passes. A pen tool, which is used to draw straight passes and curved passes, and a pencil tool, or free drawing tool. Let's see how pencil tool works first. Pencil tool basically lets you draw freely any shapes that you like. You can create your custom shapes or any designs that you like with pencil tool. Pen tool, on the other hand, creates paths by connecting the anchor points that you create on your working canvas. In order to finish creating a, a straight path this way, simply click Enter. When creating a straight path, you can also create curves. So that for that, you should hold when creating your path and the path will become curved. You can change the curves to straight points by double-clicking a path and double-clicking the anchor point which is curved. Now it's straight and straight. You can also move the anchor points as you like. When the curve is actually curved you can also modify it right here. And if you see when you modify the curve from one side, the other side changes proportionally. If you want to change only one side, hold your meta key and change only one side as long as you hold the meta key. As we have mentioned, each figure created in Vector is a path. Let's see how to modify the rectangle. As it is a path, you can simply double-click the rectangle and then modify it as you like. You can also turn the rectangle to curved path, just like that, and then modify the curve. Or holding a meta key, modify only one point of it, only one side of it. 